welcome to Mama Sue's Kitchen. I want to tell you that I'm gonna have a recipe for you that I think you're going to love. All of you who have made Bonnie's meal before, this is another one of Bonnie's recipes. But I'm gonna start something while I talk to you. Um, her recipe, this is for a different chicken spaghetti than I make. Um, you know, mine is more cheesy. Well, this one is totally different. You take two stalks of celery and chop them, one onion chopped, and one half of bell pepper chopped. I used my little chopper, and I'm going to put this on. I put two tablespoons of butter in a pan, and I'm just gonna cook this just a little bit. Now, she didn't say to cook it in butter, but I'm going to just a little bit. I had melted my butter. I'm just gonna cook it a little bit, and then I'm going to add one cup of chicken broth and one can of cream of mushroom soup and one small can, that's a 10 ounce can of enchilada sauce. I got the mild. Harold doesn't like it real spicy. If you wanted the um, medium or hot, you could get that. But, y'all, this, this chopper, may be one of my favorite kitchen gadgets. It's, it doesn't take any time to chop onion, bell pepper, um, celery, whatever. And uh, I got mine at Walmart, but if you want to, you can go to my website and look under favorite things and it's linked. Uh, but anyway, what I also did was I bought a rotisserie chicken. I just didn't get my chicken uh, started in time to cook. And you know, these rotisserie chickens are delicious. I buy the tradition, traditional. Uh, you know, they have lemon pepper and all, but I always just buy the traditional. And I will tell you, Scalp has the best nose in the world. He smelled that when I came in, but he couldn't see it. And I didn't take it out for a little while because it was still hot and I had to let it cool before I took it off the bone. Well, once I started taking it off the bone, he had it fit. So, let me check this for just a minute. Now what I'm going to do, after just a couple more minutes, I'm going to pour a cup of chicken broth, an 8 ounce, um, eight ounce block of cream cheese softened, one can of cream of mushroom soup, and one 10 ounce can of enchilada sauce. I'm going to pour that in the pan where the onion and celery and bell pepper is cooking a little bit. And I'm going to let that cook for five or six minutes. Then I'm going to add my chicken to it. And I have already cooked um, 16 ounces of spaghetti. And we'll mix it all together when that happens. But let me um, let me get something, and I'm gonna set this on it so you can see what I'm doing. I did not want to. Uh, I didn't want to set up my camera to my stove, and I'll tell you why. Oh, uh, I have been having leg cramps at night. 
every night, every night. And I know my magnesium is low, and I was taking magnesium, but I can't take magnesium with this certain cancer pill that I'm taking. So hold on a minute, let me get this pot off the stove. All right, this is cooked for just a little bit, and I'm gonna pour a cup of chicken broth, one can of enchilada sauce, one can of cream of mushroom soup, Whoa. Scout, it didn't get you, did it? It was plastic, thank goodness. But, um, I'm gonna put this on the stove and let all of this blend together, cook it for about five minutes. And then I'll add my chicken. Oh, it called for three tablespoons of parsley. I thought I had it and I didn't. So the recipe is gonna say three tablespoons of parsley. I think it's three tablespoons. But anyway, didn't have any. So I looked and this Morton's Na Nature Seasoning Blend has parsley in it. And it has onion and it has garlic and celery seed. Well. This has celery, it has onion, so it's definitely not gonna hurt. So I'm gonna put some of this seasoning in there. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and put it over here, and Harold will be over there kind of keeping it stirred for me. But I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna tell you why I didn't turn your face in my stove and my leg cramps. Every night, and I mean almost every night for a week, I have had to get up and I'll get some pickle juice. Well, I've used all my pickle juice. Last night, I put um, mustard in a tablespoon and ate two tablespoons of mustard. And it does get rid of the leg cramps when I do that. The pickle juice and the mustard did also. But when I went to the store this morning, my intention was to get a jar of dill pickles. And I knew it was gonna happen like, you know, I thought, well, if I pour the pickle juice and drink it at night, I'm gonna be left with pickles that are gonna be dry. So I went down the canning aisle and I saw a packet of Mrs. Wage's dill pickle seasoning. And I thought, well, why can I not make this and just don't put the cucumbers in it? Because it's the vinegar and the salt and all that. So Harold's gonna put one over here. I did that, it's still a little hot. But that made two quarts and one pint. I've got it over on the stove cooling. But I'm going to tell you, I tasted it when uh, I poured this up and there was a little bit left. And it's the pickle juice like I would be getting out of a pickle jar. And I want to say the seasoning, I want to say it was only $2 and something. I may be wrong, but that's what I'm thinking. And I just added water and vinegar to it. So I'm gonna be ready for a while with pickle juice in my cramps. But if I could take the magnesium, I know that would help. And I was taking it until I started this new cancer pill and it specifically says, do not take it with magnesium. Don't know why, but you don't. So things are crazy and you have to kind of do what it says and. You know, come October, the end of October, the good Lord willing, I'll be through with that pill because I was only going to have to take it a year. And then, um, hopefully my life will be back to, to normal. You know, I'm only having to go to the doctor once a month now, which 
we were going every weekend for months. We went three times a week. And before y'all tell me this, I also bought bananas, so I'm eating bananas too. Doing everything that I possibly can to keep those cramps, but I know it's because my magnesium's low. And so, um, I'm going to, uh, to try my pickle juice that I made. Put it right there for me. I kind of touched the bottom and I knew he was going to look at me. Um, I'm going to add some of the spaghetti. This is going to make a lot. I did um, text my daughter, Amy, and ask her if uh, they wanted some for supper. And she said, yes, that she would have to get some that she has a... Uh, She's a cheerleader coach at the school where she teaches and she has a parent meeting tonight and she said, yes, we definitely will. Okay, let me see. I'm hoping you can see this. Okay, I'm gonna put the rest of this chicken. Here, I'm gonna leave Scott another little bite. Give him, cause he's had plenty. All right, let me see rest of that spaghetti because it said a pound. And then it said salt and pepper to taste, but I'm going to, I'm going to taste it before because I use that seasoning salt instead of, instead of, um, parsley. Let me just see if this is salty enough. Mm. That's really good. Really good. Let me, uh, let me get a dish. I know that I'll have to have two dishes, but I'm gonna go ahead and we're gonna spray this one. And that's just olive oil. Okay, we'll put pepper in. I like pepper. And I think I'm gonna add just a little bit more of the seasoning salt. Okay. Stir it really good. That enchilada sauce is just enough that it's not too strong, but it has a different taste. It doesn't taste like your normal. Just put that in a smaller dish and give that or give this to Amy and Sean because they've got, they'll eat more than Harold and they. But I preheated my oven to 350 and the recipe says just to sprinkle a little cheddar cheese on top. Uh, Bonnie is the best cook. She and I, uh, well, our, our kids were in school together. And uh, I don't remember when, she, when it was that she gave me that recipe for Bonnie's meal with the cabbage and rotel and hamburger meat. But we all love it. And... This is gonna be another one. Now, I'm gonna bake this, 
and when it gets done, I'll come back and show you. Okay, I let the two casseroles cook for about 20 minutes and they've been out of the oven for about 30 minutes. I'm, um, Amy is gonna pick up the other one for their supper and this is gonna be ours, so I'm going to just um, put some in a dish for you to see it. So, so, so good. Let me get me a fork and I will I'll taste it for you because it's cool enough. This will not disappoint. You saw it's not that hard. The recipe will be on mamasusouthernkitchen.com. It makes two nine by 13 inch dishes. You know, you could freeze one. I wouldn't cook it. I would go ahead and freeze it. And then you would have it for later or you could fix one and take somebody one, but it's easy, it's good, it's a meal. So, thank you, Bonnie, so much for another great recipe. I know this is gonna be a favorite just like Bonnie's meal was. But y'all, please like my page, share it, and uh, remember to go to my website, mamasusouthernkitchen.com for the recipe. And Remember to be salt and light wherever you go. I'll be back soon.